Is it possible to make Fox News viewers change their minds about key issues just by having them change the channel? That's what a new study suggests. It's titled The Manifold Effects of Partisan Media on Viewers' Beliefs and Attitudes. The researchers paid some Fox News fans to watch CNN for 30 days, and then they asked them some questions. The results are fascinating. So let's bring in David Brockman and Joshua Callow. They conducted the study in September of 2020, and it's just been published this week. Welcome to you both. Let's not, uh, let's not waste any time. David, what did you find? Yeah, thanks so much for having us. So what we did is we recruited a fairly large group of people who predominantly watched Fox News um, up until September 2020. And in September 2020, we paid them to watch CNN instead at the time at which they usually watch Fox News. And then afterwards, we asked them a variety of questions about what they knew about the world and kind of their attitudes about current events and people like Donald Trump. Uh, that was during the Trump presidency, of course. And uh, I keep think the real key finding here from our perspective is essentially that we find that partisan media is sort of hiding information from voters. And I think there's kind of an analogy to Putin's Russia where right now, Russians, we know, are not getting all the information about what's actually happening in Ukraine. And in the same way that we found during the Trump presidency, uh, those watching Fox News weren't getting all the information about what was really happening, for example, with COVID and otherwise in the Trump administration, that then they started seeing on CNN and they said, oh, wow, I had no idea. I didn't know all this because Fox News wasn't telling me. So, Josh, you all call this partisan coverage filtering. Um, and basically, you're proving what we've sensed for a while, which is, Fox viewers are in the dark about bad news for the GOP. That's right. Fox and CNN cover different issues, and Fox News predominantly covers issues that, that make the GOP look good and, and make Democrats look bad. And, and on the flip side, CNN en engages in this partisan coverage filtering as, as well that we find. For example, during this time, the Abraham Accords were signed, and these were the agreements where Israel, the UAE, and Bahrain signed a, a major peace agreement, and we see that Fox News covered this really major accomplishment about 15 times more than, than CNN did. So we established both networks are, are really engaging in this partisan coverage filtering. It's, it's not about one side, it's about the media writ large. I think you're engaging in some both sides isn't there, Josh. Not trying to lay out a, a moral equivalency. It's, it's not about what an objective standard is. It's really about how all networks do engage in this. And in order for viewers to get a, a realistic picture of the world, we, we need viewers to see all types of information. And unfortunately, what we find in this study is that the viewers don't want to engage in, in watching all sides. So as David mentioned, we see that viewers, we pay them for four weeks to, to watch CNN, but then after those payments stop, they, they go back to watching Fox News. So <laughs> even though we try to incentivize viewers to watch both Fox and, and CNN, they don't want to, to engage in that, that hard work. Mm -hmm. they, they want to really just watch the side that makes them feel good. Uh, and this is why the media has such an important responsibility to, to cover both sides, to, to hold both parties accountable. And this study has already gotten a lot of attention. Uh, David, President Obama mentioned it on stage at the Atlantic's and uh, the University of Chicago's disinformation conference that I was at in Chicago this week. Here's part of what Obama said about your study. It hadn't turned them into liberals. It, it didn't make them want to vote for Joe Biden. <laughs> They had just had access to a different set of information. And I think we underestimate the degree of, of pliability in our opinions and our views. David, is that the proper takeaway here? Is Obama right? Yeah, I think that gets at a, a really important kind of finding of our study, which is that, first of all, uh, President Obama is exactly right, that, you know, we're not finding that you take Fox viewers, viewers, and all of a sudden overnight they become uh, Biden voters. Um, that, that wasn't the, the goal of our study, and, and, and we didn't expect to find that, and we didn't. Um, but we do find that, um, consistent with what I was saying earlier, um, when uh, folks who previously watched Fox News start getting, watching CNN, they learn all these things they didn't know before about, for example, the fact that um, the U.S. at the time was not doing as well as many other countries when it came to controlling COVID, things that Fox News didn't really want to say. Fox News was, in fact, telling people that, oh, COVID's not as big of a deal. And I think that the key implication here is that we really shouldn't think about partisan media as just good for one side, though, right? And I think this is what President Obama is getting at, that if you think of Fox News as just kind of 
putting a thumb on the scale for Republicans. You know, it is that, but it's not only that. And I think it's also actually bad for democracy because it actually matters a lot if Trump voters during the Trump presidency think that Trump is doing a great job or just kind of a good job. Because if voters don't learn when politicians on their side mess up, then there's no one to hold politicians accountable. So it actually matters a lot to have, um, during the Trump presidency, Trump voters be able to say to Trump, hey, we like you, but you need to do this better. Or during the Biden presidency, we need Biden voters to say, hey, Biden, you know, we like you overall, but you need to be doing better in this way. And mm -hmm. if partisan media doesn't tell its own side um, when a politician is not kind of performing up to up to snuff or doesn't talk about their failings, um, that really breaks down some of the key mechanisms that keep our democracy responsive. Having a side's own voters tell their side, hey, you need to do better in this way. But they can't do that if media don't tell them how the media's, how politicians are falling down on the job. Uh, David and Josh, thank you both for being here. Good talking with you.